Happy Saturday, everybody. It is snowing here in Connecticut. What? Oh, it has been like up to 60 and now we got snow today. Yuck. So I'm coming on with kind of a springtime pinky look. I'm going in the theme for Valentine's Day month. I got a whole 80s thing going on today. I got, um, it's not Benetton, it's from Ann Taylor, but it looks, reminds me of the old Benetton look. I got pinky promise, which is like a Barbie doll pink lip and cheek. Did my basic hack today and I shadow colors. So this was a winner of a this or that week contest and this one. So the pinks, the pinks tend to win. Um, I added, this is Claire. Claire is a um, matte base because I really like to use a matte as a base and this, um, this palette did not have that. So I've got Claire for a matte base, Cocoa as kind of a darkener and a liner. This is Peppa, a little bit lighter than Peppa. Shimmer is um, Soulmate. I may or may not add Tawanda and Cupcake as a matte that I like to brighten up here. So really pretty pink colors with just that hint of brown to kind of deepen it. <clears throat> eyeshadow brush. I cannot rave enough about Saints eyeshadow brush. It just makes it so easy to do eyeshadow. So I'm going to take that fluffy in and just kind of press into Claire. Claire is one our kind of newer colors it is a super pretty kind of a mauve pink matte color and I'm just taking the fluffy end and doing a basic wash all over my lid and above the crease most important part above the crease so it really just kind of opens up your eye you know when you bring it up here not all the way to my brow but up and above that crease line otherwise if I just have it here as you'll see, when I open my eyes, especially if I open them big, you barely see any eyelid. So that's why you wanna take that eyeshadow, not just here, so I'll do it. I'll show you the difference. If you just do eyeshadow here, which is what I used to do, and open my eye, it just, it looks smaller, one. Two, you just don't get that lifting over here. So let me add in, up and out, back and forth. You don't have to worry about, you know, being super precise. And if you have a little fallout of eyeshadow down below, it's okay. Because my basic hack is a cream foundation and you can just clean it up so easily. Okay, so there you go, Claire. Um, Claire is one of those colors also if you want a one and done. Wash, out the door, done. Super pretty. I'm going to go into the other end of that brush, which is more... Um, the bristles are closer together, you get more product. I'm gonna dip into Cocoa, which is one of my favorite of the browns. And I'm gonna come out here and darken that crease, kind of in like a greater than, less than sign. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Come out and draw a line down. I'm gonna show you a trick I tend to do on my own is I tend to hold this out and really get in there and deepen it into that greater than less than sign. You don't have to, but that just helps me get it really there, especially if I want to do it a little bit darker. So same thing on this side, pull it out and just gently come right on that outer edge just helps me be a little bit more precise. I know these look crazy right now. That's they're supposed to. And then what you can do is take that extra and just drag it underneath. Extra right on that lash line. Drag that cocoa underneath. Cocoa's a great liner. All right. Let me come back to my big old palette. I'm going to go back into the fluffy side now and just blend that cocoa in so it doesn't look so crazy out there. Um, and I'm just kind of gently fluffing it in a circle and pulling it into my crease. So I want to keep most of the product on my outer lid to darken it and up and out again, but then I'm dragging it into that crease because I don't want it to be um, so distinct. You want them to blend. So again, up and out, crease it over. Same thing on the other side. Kind of bringing in that crease, fluffing it out, and coming over. So I know our kids have a four-day weekend. I do not, but I'm off on Monday because I'm going to go show Lexi, my 16-year-old, 
University of New Hampshire, which is where I went to school for undergrad. So very excited to go up to New Hampshire, show her where I went to school. All right, Coco plus Claire. Now I'm gonna go in with my finger into Peppa. Peppa is super pretty. So Peppa and Soulmate are similar, but this is a little bit deeper. Um, and Soulmate has more of a brighter pink um, color than Peppa. So I'm gonna bring with my finger Peppa kind of out here. Right on that outer, kind of in the inside of that greater than less than sign. Peppa is a super pretty color. It's one of our pinks, but it's not like pink. Not like my lips and shirt today. <laughs> oh, I love pink. All right, so Peppa right there. Then I'm gonna go into the lighter of the two, the Soulmate. It's just a little bit brighter and I'm gonna put it right there. So you can see the difference. It's just a little bit brighter, a little bit um, pinker. And I'm gonna come over here and again, just put it there. Now, the other original palette called for La La Land, which is a glitter. I'm not doing glitter today. Glitter makes me crazy. And I gave all my glitters to my daughter. My 19 year old like rocks the glitter. She uses them as an eyeliner. They look so cool. I'm 51, I can't do glitter eyeliner. <laughs> so this is um, Claire, Coco, Peppa, Soulmate. Now, I like to go back into my original color, my original Claire matte, to kind of blend it all. So I'm gonna come, because it kind of gets lost after you put those colors on. So I added it, I'm gonna come up like that, and I'm just gonna kind of tap them all in. So they're still all there, the different colors, but they're just blended a little bit better. Bubba better. <laughs> and then over here, I'm gonna come into Claire, again, across that top, and then just kind of pressing them in together. Now I'm gonna just clean off my brush because I wanna go into Cupcake to brighten. This is a really cool kind of, um, it's called a brush tile cleaner. It doesn't, you know, clean the brush completely like our brush cleaner spray, but it just gets rid of that excess color so you can switch between colors better. So I'm gonna go into Cupcake, which is like my favorite of the mattes for brightening and just bring it right up there, right up there and right up there and call it a day. So this is a really pretty easy, woo, my thing is falling over, um, kind of everyday look. If I wanted to go out for nighttime, I would just deepen that cocoa and I'm just gonna come under here and clean it up a little bit. Clean it up a little bit. This is the buff brush I'm using. I love it. Um, and it just, see how it just lifts it and kind of touches it up, gets rid of any excess makeup. So thank you for watching. I'll post my colors. And again, so if you wanted to add the glitter at this point, you would put a little bit of primer, um, some kind of like setting primer, NYX has a good one, and then just tap the glitter kind of right there. All right, thank you for watching. If you have questions, reach out to me. If you want a color match, fill out my job form. I'll put it below. And everyone, enjoy their weekend. Hopefully it's not snowing where you are.